Hi everyone, Emily and Erin Reeves here with Wire Care, and today we are going to teach you how to build a custom battery cable. For this project, we're going to use a battery cable, a wire stripper, a battery terminal, an electrical lug, a crimper, some braided sleeving, and heat shrink. All of the products and tools that we're using today can be purchased on wirecare.com. Alrighty, let's build a battery cable. First, we are going to strip the insulation off the end of our Hillsdale battery cable. What we want to avoid is stripping back too far. We want the bare wires just to fit perfect in the lug without any overhang. We are using the Pressmaster Tour for stripping. This is a great strip tool for professionals and DIYers alike because you get a clean, precise strip every time and it's really easy to use. All right. There we go, nice and even. So when we do put the lug on, as you can see, Aaron's going to demonstrate here, it will fit exactly the way we want. On to step two. We're going to slide on this expandable Flexo FR braided sleeving by TechFlex. Braided sleeving adds a significant level of protection to pretty much any wire and cable application. Not to mention, it just looks nice. This Flexo FR is particularly good for battery and engine applications because it's durable, flame retardant, super flexible and expandable, which makes it very easy to install. For those who need more high temperature protection, you could go with Insultherm. Insultherm is fiberglass sleeving specifically designed to protect wires or cables that are subject to extreme heat, i.e. around an engine manifold or an exhaust system. Up next, we are going to slide on some heat shrink over our braided sleeving. This is two to one shrink flex heat shrink and this will help us get a nice clean termination. We're doing this now as opposed to, you know, later in the process because it's way easier to slide this heat shrink on before we've permanently attached the lug. Just thinking ahead. Okay, good to go. We'll revisit this heat shrink later. Now we're going to pop the lug on to our battery cable. This is a Hillsdale heavy duty electrical lug. It's made of copper, which provides excellent conductivity and is made specifically for battery applications. Up next is crimping. We're using this TMS hydraulic crimper. Slide the proper dies in just like this. Turn the knob to increase the pressure. Then we're going to insert our lug right here. Once that's secure, we can go ahead and crimp it. Pump the handle until the lower die meets the upper die, crimping the terminal between them. As soon as these two dies meet each other, we're done. Turn the knob to release the pressure and then shimmy the battery cable right out. What we want is a clean, uniform crimp all the way around, just like this. The terminal can actually be done in the exact same way. We did this previously for the sake of time. Time for the finishing touch. Slide your heat shrink down over where the lug meets the cable. We're going to use this Steinel heat blower to shrink our heat shrink. This reflector tip distributes the heat evenly. All right, that's done. This heat shrink is pulling double duty here. It helps seal the lug onto the cable and it terminates our braided sleeving so we don't have any fraying at the end. Mm -hmm. 
We have a battery cable built just the way we want it. We can use this for a car, boat, or any application with a battery. You can find the links to all of these tools and products in the description below. For more tutorials and videos, please visit wirecare.com. And remember to check them out on Instagram and Facebook as well. Thanks for watching, y'all. Happy building.